things are freaking heavy! Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we're going to be going over the next-gen updates coming out for the PS5, the Xbox Series X or S if you have it, and a little bit on the Nintendo Switch Pro, which is rumored to come out at the end of this year. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. As you may know, the PS5 and the Xbox Series X came out in November of 2020, and with it you were able to play Apex Legends on those next-gen consoles. However, and this needs to be very well stated here, the versions that you're playing on those next-gen consoles are backwards compatible, meaning you are playing the Xbox One or the PS version of those games on that system, meaning you aren't gonna go higher than 60 frames per second. However, even though you are playing on a backwards compatible version of the game, it does have some boosted performances for the next gen systems, such as it will have higher resolutions up to 1440p, faster loading times, and there is a boosted performance in the frames per second. For instance, if you are playing on an Xbox One or a PS4, you are capped out at 60 frames per second, but in a firefight or in the drop it can dip into the 40s. However, on the Series X and the PS5, it never goes below 60. It will be stuck there, which is at least nice in that field. So when can we expect an update to unlock the 120 frames per second, which we're all waiting for so we can finally compete with PC players, even though they'll still melt us because they have mouse and keyboard. So let's go ahead and take a first look at what EA has to say from their end on the next gen update. And what they went ahead and said in their press release this year is that it is coming to the Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation 5 but down below that you'll see the 1440p upgrade which we already mentioned but there's going to be more formal enhancements planned for the next year which indicates to me that this year or in the very early 2022 we're going to be going ahead and seeing that next gen update along with that a respawn dev went on reddit and was answering questions in regards to season 8 and this is what he had to let us know about the frames per second coming and he was asked what is going to be the status for the ps5 and the series x and he said 120 frames per second is one of our goals as we continue to look at next gen features and balance between what we think is best for the overall player experience for next gen. We're keeping this in mind. Can't promise anything, but with the core mechanics feel of Apex being such an important piece, the player experience on this one is a high priority. So we do know that EA and Respawn are planning on making a next gen version of this game, which makes a ton of sense as a lot of competitors have already gone ahead and done so. So I don't think we'll see this in season nine. We haven't heard any indication from any sources or any leaks saying they are ready to push this out for next gen. Not to mention we just had the Switch port and a mobile version that's being worked on. So Respawn seems to be spread pretty thin for the next gen update, although they could be assigning a different team to go ahead and work on this, but I think more likely we could be seeing this in season 10, season 11, if they're really pushing this off far. Along with that, the formal enhancements we could be expecting earlier, and that's mainly for the PS5. EA and Respawn and a couple of those pressers went ahead and showed us that they do plan on doing formal enhancements for the next-gen systems other than just the 120 frames per second. And some of those for the PS5 could go ahead and include a dual sense ability, which takes advantage of the haptic feedback on the next-gen consoles, which was just introduced. Along with that, they could optimize its audio for PlayStation's 3D audio function. However, I would be very, very wary of that one because name a more iconic duo than Apex Legends and audio issues. I can't even imagine what would happen if they tried to do a next-gen 3D audio function. Just, just no. But also in regards to the Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo Switch Pro, we know we just got the port of the Nintendo Switch on March 9th, which has been really fun, but the frames per second are very low. There is a rumored Nintendo Switch Pro, which I did a video on a couple weeks ago, and it looks to be coming the holiday season of 2021, and it's supposed to have the power of roughly the PS4. That's not confirmed, but that's what a lot of data miners are thinking right now in regards to that. So that is definitely a possibility. However, when the game launches on the Nintendo Switch Pro, I would expect the same issue we're having right now with the PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X issue, where there will not be a next-gen version ready right away for the Nintendo Switch Pro. You will be playing on the regular Switch on the Switch Pro. You will be still kept at 30 frames per second until they go ahead and port it for that next-gen Switch Pro. However, maybe they are already working on the next-gen update for when the Pro comes out. We really don't know. Overall, it's a very exciting time right now to be an Apex Legends fan or player. With Season 9 coming in the arena modes, it is going to be a blast. And with a next-gen performance boost coming probably in Season 10 to put it up at 120 frames per second, it is going to be phenomenal along with some of the features made possibly for those next-gen systems. So I cannot 
cannot wait to see where we come. Hopefully they do a solid port on the Nintendo Switch Pro as the Nintendo Switch needs a little bit of bump in performance to compete against its counterparts. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the next-gen systems. Have you played on them? Are you enjoying it so far? How does it compare to the old versions for you? And as always, until next time, Legends, keep slaying in the Outlands, and I'll see you out there.